Kia ora, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and welcome to this video. Um, we're going to take another look at T Control List. So we're going to need to create a new Windows VCL application. And on it, add a T Control List. Now that's similar to before, we'll align this to client. And what I'm going to do is right click and go preset configuration. And we can scroll through here and have a look at um, various layouts. And we'll grab this one. So it's got an image um, title and text. So uh, a similar layout to before, but it's um, we have more of them. Now I'm also going to set the item width from 200 to 400 to give us a bit more space. Uh, and what I should have done before that is um, let's extend that out. Oh, actually, we'll make this um, an appropriate size. And unfortunately, let's put a virtual image in there. And we actually want a um, T, T image. Um, one of the hints from my book, um, Code Fast from Delphi, which is available on Amazon and uh, LeanPub. Um, oops, Alt F12 does not work. Um, view as text. We can come down to our virtual image and just, we'll just change that to a T image. And F12 still does not work but we can go view as form and we see that uh, image with there's a few few properties that aren't, aren't supported and we'll also want to make it um, a bit bigger and if I align that left shift our title and text and on the text I'm just going to anchor that all around just so that if we if we resize it um, it'll uh, keep its uh you know keep that outside edge sort of resized dynamically with with the um with our sort of tile i suppose or our uh, item area anyway so this time we're going to use live bindings so previously we used the um before draw item method to to map everything but uh we can go bind visually but first we need a client data set and load from my base table and users public documents and back at zero studio you know, latest version samples data and grab biolife and now we can do our bind visually and with our control list we want to map um, the star which maps the number of records and the current record and all that kind of stuff and then our picture is the graphic so that's easy enough to map that our label one will map to the notes and our title will map to the common name so that was a uh, reasonably easy um I'll just check some of these other properties. Uh, auto size is off, which is good. And word wrap is on, excellent. Uh, but on our picture, we will want to set um, proportional to true. And also we want to center it. And so if we run that, oh, I've still got uh, we updated the virtual image in our um, DFM file, but not the pass file. So this is saying we will correct the uh, definition. And there we have our fish. And I probably want to make it a little bit taller as well. But one something I don't like is that as we resize it, um, we end up with all this blank area here, which is a little bit annoying. Now I had a bit of a play around and I've got some code and what, what I'll do before then is let's make the item height um, 7100 and I'll probably need to let's squeeze those across and make it a bit bigger to make it look a little bit better. Okay, let's have a quick look at that. Okay, that's that's uh, a bit more reasonable. We're still missing out some some data, but um, it, it's got 
a lot more. Anyhow, if we go to the form on resize, uh, on resize, I've got, let's go to my cheat sheet, I'll grab this code. So our max we need system.math, and we can close that now. So I'm grabbing the um, client rect width. I think actually just go client width. It's a little, little bit shorter. So, and then we're determining the margins, which is the left margin and right margin. And I'm working out uh, how many items we can squeeze in. And from that, so our, our width is 400. So we're dividing our width by 400. Um, it should be 400 minus the margins. Anyway, um, and then I'm setting the item width to our uh, the total width minus the item count times the margins and dividing that by the item count. And that should give a, um, a width for our uh, items so that it, well, I'll show you how it works. So when we resize it, um, we don't get this white area anymore. It resizes. Oh, and uh, our text is not resizing properly, but that's, who knows why that is. Let's have a look. Um, uh, that looks pretty good. So I won't worry about it too much. Um, but that's uh, a lot, a lot cleaner. Maybe maybe I need to set the um, uh, so we could do the on before draw item. Uh, label one dot, uh, is assigned, um, control list one dot item width. minus one dot left. See if that works. So that's a bit better. Um, and so, yeah, it manages to not have any wasted space. So the minimum size for one of these tiles is 400 pixels, uh, but it's um, we'll be up to 800 because uh, it's 800, it divides that in two and we get two 400 panels. And then when we get to 1200, so that then these get up to uh, 600 white. And then we've got uh, three of them. So, um, you know, that's kind of uh, all I wanted to show you in this video. It's, um, I'm been playing around with the uh, control list. I'll do another video on an actual um, how, how I've been using it. I've been testing that, replaced it, replaced it, um, TDB control grid, um, which are very uh, fun controls to play with. They have lots of quirks. Um, but the control list seems to be a lot more stable. So I'm Alistair Christie. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video.